Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So basically in today's video we're going to be talking about the latest and greatest from Jeffree Star, Miss Velvet Trap. Trap. <laughs> um, I received these last week in the mail and yeah, let's talk about them. Let's discuss the different colours, let's discuss the packaging, let's discuss how they wear, how they look, how they smell, all of that jazz. Let's get started. <laughs> Let's discuss the packaging. These are the boxes that you will find that they come in. They say velvet on one side and then they say trap on the other side. And when you take them off, they have all star embossed logos on them. Very, very nice. Um, and then they also have a bear trap on the side as well. And then like all the ingredients and all the wear and all of that stuff that you need to know. Love this, very cool. Um, they're a little bit annoying to get back in the box, but I love them. Um, I love his packaging always. Moving on to the actual components itself. Hello, look at this. So, as I'm on the PR list, I was sent every single shade. Thank you so much, Jeffree Star, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, everyone that's behind the team. This is a holder that is not sold with them, but you can buy it separately. I do really love these. Um, I have like all the holders because I just think they look so nice on the vanity. Yes, they are cardboard at the end of the day, but they just look really nice on your vanity. So yeah, love them. I would have bought one myself anyway, even if I wasn't sent one. Moving on to the lipsticks, let me grab one out. So here is a closer look at the packaging. It's a pink bullet ammo lipstick. And when we compare it to the old packaging, so I have the, I only have like the special edition old packaging, sorry, but that's just what I've got. So this is what they are like, look like compared to each other. So I feel like this one looks really cheap when you compare it to this one now. This just look, looks luxurious and it feels luxurious. It's a lot heavier. Um, they're very sturdy. And yeah, the lids, so this one, I can't remember how, yeah, it's just, you like click it on. This one is magnetic and it just goes, oh my God, it's so satisfying. <laughs> so yeah, that is the two com packagings compared. And then obviously at the bottom, it will say the name. This one is Firestarter. It's not, it's not going to focus on it, but yes, if we take it off and then we unveil, oh my God. Like, this packaging, look at all the detail on the lip itself, beautiful, 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 I love it so much. I love this so much, they have been, oh, they've been so fun to take photos of, I'm not even gonna lie, just taking photos of them has been so fun, I haven't even worn them yet, but yes, that is the packaging, all done. Let's move on. So, um, let me just quickly remove their heads so that we can see all the shades. So, here they are with their lids off. I absolutely, like, I just can't get enough of what they look like. Like, I could stare at them for so long. I will say um, it's a bit of hit or miss on whether you're gonna get like a perfect pattern on the lipstick. Some of them have like a little bit like of the star missing. Some of them are literally perfection and I've taken so many photos of them. I've lost count. But yeah, I absolutely love this so much. Let's swatch them. I'm gonna swatch them row by row and then I'm going to do a comparison of that row and then I'll move on to the next row. Hopefully you'll like get the gist of it as we move along. But yeah, let's watch this first row, which is like the pinks and the reds. Okay, so here is the first row swatch. Starting off, we have the perfect red. Then we have fire starter. Then we have honey suck me. Then we have watermelon soda. And then last off, we have hot commodity. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch these next to liquid lipsticks, the same color or like similar colors to show you like like, so you can get a good feel of the colour, and then we will move on to the next row. Okay, so here are the comparisons. This is the Perfect Red and Red Rum, very similar. Um, I would say that, yeah, oh god, I really can't tell the difference between these two. Um, 
Yeah, no, they literally look like the same colour. So, yeah, perfect red is very similar, if not exact same, to red rum. Moving on, we have Firestarter. Oh, also, the lip ammos are the first watches that you see, and then the other ones are... I'll tell you. <laughs> so, we have Firestarter. Then, we have Anna Nicole. And then, I put fi uh, Flamethrower as well. And I think Anna Nicole and Firestarter look very similar. I absolutely love Anna Nicole. It's one of my favourite shades. So... I can't wait to swatch this on the lips. I will say that this is a lot more brighter though, and I feel like it's more, it's hard to see on the camera. It's more like pinky orange, and this one is more like reddy orange, and then this is like straight up orange, obviously. It doesn't match at all, these two very similar. Then we have watermelon soda. Um, they look literally exactly the same. So this is the lip ammo, and then this, well, the velvet trap, and then this is a liquid lipstick. It's just, this one's just a little bit sheer because it's obviously the lipstick. So yeah, not much difference there, except for just that one's just a little bit more sheer. And then lastly, we have hot commodity. So I swatched hot commodity, then I swatched Jeffrey WTF, and then I swatched Diva. And, um, yeah, Hot Commodity is quite different compared to the other two. Um, obviously a bit more sheer because it's a lipstick. Uh, Jeffrey WTF is a lot more brighter and bluier kind of pink. And then Diva obviously has shimmers in it, so it's a little bit more sheer and it has gold shimmers. So yeah, Hot Commodity is a unique shade and I would say... Um, oh, the one that I, that I couldn't find anything for was Honey Suck Me, which is like that peachy colour. I couldn't find any dupes for that, so that's also another unique shade. But yes, there they all are. Let's move on to the second row. Okay, so the second row, we have Funeral Parlour, Diet Mannequin, Naked Body, Chocolate Fondue, and Dominatrix. Um, just ignore the top here. It's just where my hair, like, kind of gets in the way and my title as well. But, yeah. Um, I will say, I forgot to say, that I am swatching them. So, I'm going one, two, three, and that is what is it you see on my arm. So, yeah. Let's see some comparisons with these shades. Okay, we're done with the nudes. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, first up, we have Funeral Parlor, and then I swatch Virginity next to it. Um, not an exact match, but very, very similar. I would say Virginity is a little bit more, like, brighter and pinker, and um, Funeral Parlor is a little bit more, like, grey, purple, mauve kind of colour. Then we have Diet Mannequin. Obviously, I wanted to swatch Mannequin next to it. They're going to make a great ombre lip, so love that so much. And then I swatched um, Skin Tight, because I thought it looked quite similar, but it's not. It's a lot more peachy toned, as you can see. It's, like, brighter and more peachy toned. Moving on, we have Naked Body. And then next to that, I swatched Celebrity Skin, which I thought looked quite similar, but it's almost a little bit more peachy toned than Naked Body. Then I swatched, this is the one, Mannequin, and that looked like it matched up perfectly with uh, Naked Body. And then I swatched my favourite nude, Christmas Cookie, which looks nothing like it, it's just a little bit more like red toned than brown toned. So yeah, definitely Mannequin is a good uh, match for that one. And then moving up we have the brown. So this one is chocolate fondue and then I swatched Tasty next to it which is one of the mini liquid lips from the nude bundle. Um, I think this would also make a good ombre. So if you had Tasty all over the lips and then you ombre it with chocolate fondue I think that would look really really nice. Um, but yeah I couldn't really find any identical to chocolate fondue so it's a very unique shade which I love. Love a unique nude. And then lastly we have Dominatrix and I swatched obviously Dominatrix right next to it. And yeah, Dominatrix is just a little bit more sheer from the lip ammo, uh, velvet trap. And then it's a lot more pigmented and it actually it feels like it's more, um, oh, leaning onto the more like red kind of undertone brown. And this one is more brown brown, which is a weird, but yeah, they are the same color, but they do look different. So yeah. That is all the nude swatch from row number two, moving on to the third row. Okay, so the third row, we have Unfaze, Drill Sergeant, So Jaded, Jawbreaker, and Malibu Beach House. Let's move on to the comparisons. 
<laughs> okay, so there's a lot in this one. So first off, we have Unfaze. I swatched Dirty Money and Karma next to it. Literally don't look anything like it. I think Unfaze is such a unique colour. Um, I really want to see him do a similar kind of shade the, to this in a liquid lip formula. Moving on, we have Drill Sergeant. And then obviously I swatched Medusa next to it because he hasn't really done any other greys besides Medusa that I'm aware of. Oh, he's done the silver, like the metallic silver, but restraints. But um, I don't have my hands on that. I think that it would be a good ombre for Medusa, so those two probably would go really well together. Then we have So Jaded. I swatched Crocodile Tears, and I also swatched Area 51, which is a lip ammo, discontinued. It was from the Alien Collection, but I just wanted to see what it looks like compared to the old formula. Um, they're both kind of the same. They're both creamy. They're both pigmented. Um, but yeah, the packaging's different. I don't, I can't really like comment on the formula on my arm because like I need to wear it on my lips, but um, shade, so jaded is very unique as well. And I really hope that he does that in a liquid lip formula as well because I love dark, murky, grun grungy greens, love it. Moving on, we have Jawbreaker and Jawbreaker. So yeah, I don't know if this was on purpose, but I think that they're supposed to be like an ombre lip for Jawbreaker. It's not supposed to match exactly because that's what I'm kind of finding is like there'll be a good ombre for Jawbreaker, but it's not going to be, it's not exact same as Jawbreaker. So yeah, Jawbreaker, the liquid lip is a lot more brighter and like um, darker as well. And the lip, the velvet trap is more light. It kind of reminds me of Diet Freeze. I, was that a liquid lip shade or a lip ammo shade? It reminds me of like a light blue shade that I can't put my finger on. And then at last, Malibu Beach House and Virginia has watched again. And I think that they, they look really similar. Um, obviously this is a bit more sheer because it's the Velvet Trap. But yeah, I think they matched quite perfectly to be honest. So yeah, that is the third row. Now moving on to the fourth row. Can you tell I'm out of breath? <laughs> and then the last row is Nudist Colony, Celebrity Skin, Designer Blood, Medieval kiss and pure health now let's do some comparisons and then we can move on to the lips okay last row nudist colony rose matter skin tight and then virginity uh, once again I think it looks really similar to virginity but this one is a little bit more like gray deeper tone virginity is like a bit more bright but yeah I would say nudist colony is a very unique shade then moving on we have Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you've been waiting for. So these three, we have the Velvet Trap, we have the Lip Ammo, and then we have the Liquid Lip Stick. So the Velvet Trap is actually a lot lighter, which is quite surprising. Um, and yeah, then we have the Lip Ammo, which swatched really nicely. And then we have the Liquid Lip Stick. So what I will say is this one looks a lot lighter, which is the Velvet Trap. So I do think the Velvet Traps were specifically designed for an ombre moment with the lips and not to match the lips. But yeah, those are the three. Next, we have Unicorn Blood. So I swatched Designer Blood next to it just to see the comparison. That's the Liquid Lip and then Unicorn Blood. They, they actually match quite nicely. I'll say that the Velvet Trap is a little bit lighter, which seems to be like the common theme of the Velvet Traps. They just seem to be a little bit lighter than the original shade. Then we have Medieval Kiss, and I'm so sorry this is discontinued now, but this was Triggered, which is from the Alien Collection. Um, I will say that this one is a lot more purple, this one's a lot more red, but both beautiful colours. I really hope he does this in like a... I've said this with all of them, but yeah, I really hope he does this in a liquid lip formula and then lastly we have pure hell and weirdo and I'll say that pure hell is a lot more like gray toned it looks like pure black when you see it in person but then when you swatch it next to weirdo you're like oh wait no it's a little bit more gray toned than weirdo which I think would be an also a good um, ombre moment with weirdo so yeah there we go there is all the comparisons there's all the swatches let's move on to my face okay so there is all the swatches comparisons I just oh I need a I just need a um oh that is so much better I really hope that transition worked because I have no idea and I will say that I'm very messy when it comes to applying lip ammo so I'll probably do it off camera so I'll see you in two seconds Okay, so here we have chocolate fondue. It is a beautiful light brownie nude. Um, I was also asked to smell them. 
They smell like dessert, like really, like a brulee. I think that's like his signature scent when it comes to like liquid lipsticks and lipsticks. Brulee, he loves it. I love it too. It smells really yummy. <laughs> but yeah, I love this colour. I think it's such a beautiful nude. Um, you can't really go wrong with the nude. I absolutely love it and I think it looks beautiful. I'll just give you a little close-up. So yeah, this is what it looks like up close. Love it. Next up, I'm going to try Firestarter. Okay, so here is Firestarter. Absolutely beautiful, yet yeah, highly reminds me of Anna Nicole. It's like a bright fire engine red orange. Love it so much. Here's a close up. So this is what it looks like on the lips. Oh, while we're here, let me just zoom back out. Kiss test. I think that they're not going to be kiss proof um, because they're very, they feel very creamy. They feel like they're going to come off. I'll show you. Let's do it. <gasps> no, they are not kiss proof, but goddamn, they'll make a good like kiss when you kiss a letter. <laughs> kiss a love letter. I don't have to do that anymore because I've got a husband. But yeah, I absolutely love the shade. Moving on to the next shade. Next up, we're gonna be swatching the perfect red on my lips. Okay guys, so here is the perfect red, and oh my god, it's so beautiful. Um, I will say it doesn't really look that different to red rum. And I will say I did correct it with the red rum lip liner because I applied it really messily, and I was like, oh god, I need to correct this if I wanna take photos with this lip. But yeah, we got it looking really nice. Um, these match perfectly as well, so love that so much. So yeah, if you are a messy like applier, make sure you have the lip liner for the lipstick and you will be all good to go. But yeah, this is what the perfect red looks like. Let me just give you a zoom in. So yeah, it's beautiful up close, nice and vibrant and looks delicious. Moving right along. Next shade I'll be testing out is So Jaded. Okay guys, here is So Jaded. Oh my god, I love this so much. This is such a nice like khaki dark green. Oh, I need him to make this in liquid lip formula. I absolutely love it. It is applied a little bit messily because I don't have a lip liner to match it. But oh my god, I love this color so much. Like. I definitely will be wearing this in the future because it is beautiful. Um, yeah, I love it. Love, 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 love. Let's give you a close up. Now you're really gonna see how messy this lip is. <laughs> um, yeah, this is what it looks like close up. Absolutely beautiful shade. Moving on to the last shade that I'll be swatching today. And the last shade I'll be swatching today is Pure Hell. Okay, and here is the last shade that I'll be swatching today on my lips, which is Pure Hell. And I will say, yeah, it's a lot lighter than um, Weirdo. It is like a, it's an almost black. It's almost there, but it's not just black. It's a little bit more on the grey tone than black black, if that makes sense, if that helps you in any way, shape or form. Um, I will say as well, this one applied a little bit, um... I kept like going over it and it felt like it was removing the product and I kept going over it again and it kept like removing the product. But this is also like my fifth lip swatch for the day and I have been like rubbing my lips with makeup remover as well. So I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt for now and say that that might be a, pro a part of the problem. But it is a really nice shade. I hope he does this one as well in the liquid lipstick form. I'm going to be completely honest. I do prefer the liquid lipstick formula. I think that's pretty obvious from watching this video. Um, so yeah, I really hope that he does a lot of these shades in liquid lipstick formula. But in saying that, these are really cool. I'm gonna give my final thoughts after I give you a close up of the lip and yeah, let's talk. So once again, this is probably applied really messily, but this is what pure hell looks up looks like close up. <laughs> okay, so let's digest everything. So the packaging is my absolute favorite. I absolutely love this packaging so much when it focuses. Um, it is very luxe. I think it's very um, high quality compared to the old packaging. Like I feel like this looks really cheap now when you compare it to this. Also the weight, it is a lot heavier than this as well. Um, and then, oh my God, like the inside and like all around the lipstick, his logo is all around the lipstick itself. You literally just need to buy one if you're curious, just to like look at the packaging. Cause oh my God, I've had so much fun taking photos of these and yeah, love the packaging. The formula, um, 
it's not my favorite kind of formula just like period like I don't like lipstick formulas I prefer a liquid lip because it stays on it's pigmented um, there's no hassle there these are not like kiss proof as well as we would have seen I kissed my hand and it's still there um, it's creamy it feels really nice to put on the lips it feels hydrating as well which I will say but yeah sorry I lost my train of thought I think these are going to be perfect for ombre lips. So I'm definitely going to be using these when I want an ombre moment, especially Diet Mannequin is going to be perfect with Mannequin. Um, there's a lot of shades that are going to go really well as an ombre moment, which I'm really excited to try out. That's what I would use them for though. I'm not going to use them as like a full lip because I find it really hard. This is just me personally. I find it really hard to get all the edges of my mouth like nice and neat. Um, Except for like the ones that go really well with like uh, lip liners, then otherwise I'm like really messy and I'm like, it's hard to apply lipstick for me, but yeah. Oh yeah, and they smell really nice, they smell like a brulee. Yeah, wrapping it up, I'm gonna say I personally don't like them, but I feel like it is personal preference on whether you would like these or not. If you're curious, get one, try it out, see how you like it and see how it performs. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much else I can say. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I would love to hear them. I'd love to answer them. Oh yeah, someone did suggest um, a wear test. I'm not even gonna bother. I feel like it's gonna come off with food and stuff and you can have to keep reapplying. Um, I feel like if I wore this for the day and I came back at the end of the day, it would be gone. Um, it's just a lipstick. That's what lipsticks do. You just have to keep reapplying them. Um, yeah, that is everything. If you guys enjoyed, I would literally love if you would give a massive thumbs up down below. It really helps me out. Leave me comments and suggestions down below as well. Up next on my channel, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Nightmare Before Christmas with Makeup Revolution has arrived. So I'm going to be testing that out in my next video. I'm so excited. Everyone was really excited on Instagram. I'm so excited to try it out. I'm finished taking photos of it. So yeah, I can't wait to play with that. That's going to be my next video. And if you haven't already, I would literally love if you would subscribe to my channel. I bring you every single thing that Jeffree Star releases when I receive it in PR, which is usually a week after the release. Um, and yeah, I do lots more other things. If you're interested, then hit that subscribe button. It's muchly appreciated. And that is it for today's video. But yeah, guys, I hope you're staying safe, happy and healthy. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.